Welcome back, everybody, to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Holy crap. Our chief and friend has been murdered. We're on the murder scene now. There was a strange girl here. She's laying on the couch. I don't know what the heck's happening. But man, we've got to cut to the bottom of it quick. And we've, yeah, better call the police. Probably a good idea. Oh dear. Doesn't look good for her, does it? Oh, can we still look at anything? Let's see. Uh, well, we looked at all this. It's painful to look, but I have to, for Mia's sake. Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt weapon. We already know that. She probably died instantly. Alright, we already looked at that part. Uh, let's see. Uh... Oh, 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 you can... Oh, I didn't even see this on the bottom here. Right, because when we walked in, this was the scene we saw. So we can look for more. Let's look at more things. Perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Sounds pretty good. Uh, anything on the computer screen that might help? Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. It does look a little old. It's got that CRT thing going on. Same? Oh, okay, same. So the desk is the desk. Alright, fine. Phone? It looks like there's a message on that phone. Right, I'd better call the police. What's this? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. What? <gasps> a wiretap. That's what that means. So someone was listening in on the conversation when it got muddled before. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Oh, there's a lady in the hotel across the street, isn't there? Uh-oh, she probably thinks we did it. Good lord. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Can she see from up there? Oh, dear me. Great. Uh, have we seen everything we can in here? These papers? No, these books. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. Doesn't seem too important. Uh... What's this? The chief's chair. Same thing, okay. Is that everything? Should we leave? Hmm... That looks like everything, I think. Alright, I guess we hit back to get out of here, right? Yeah, okay. Do we need to move back into the other I don't know. I guess the girl's out here, right? That girl just now. Where'd she go? Oh, no. She left? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, no. She's here. Oh, dear. Don't scare me like that. Um. Excuse me, but who are you? You all right, lass? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya? Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Yeah, it's her sister, isn't it? Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Alright, let's give it to her, I guess. Is this a good idea? It seems kind of mean. Go ahead. Present it to her. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. Wh why would you say it like that? Way to present it in the wrong way. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Oh, d look, you scared her. But that's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Look, you made her cry. Phoenix, you idiot. Why would she just write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Oh, the police. Oh, dear. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Oh, good. Look at this guy. Oh, isn't this the guy that Tim likes so much? Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Oh yeah, that pink lady. Must have been that woman I saw. I mean, you can't mistake a woman like that, jeez. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? 
All right. Great, just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! <laughs> ah! This word Maya here mean anything to you? Why is he smiling when he says that? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Look, don't hassle her. She's like a young lady. What the fuck could she have to do with this? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. This guy's a little bit weird, isn't he? Case closed! You're coming down the precinct, ma'am! What? what Uh-oh. I mean, they probably have to, right? There's probably no choice. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Oh dear. September 6, 9 a.m. Alright, this is the detention center. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. And she's so young. Oh dear. Oh. It's you. The lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Oh, poor thing. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, of course I will, but is maybe it's her choice? It's her choice. It's up to you, darling. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. Oh dear. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you. When you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Well, I mean, you were there, darling, but I don't think you did it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It, it's okay, I understand. Oh, poor thing. I feel, so, I feel so bad for her. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Was that the conversation we heard? Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How did that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. I bet. Never mind, sorry, she's dead. That should be nice. <laughs> ha, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Buy a dollar. Ha, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Oh, ouch. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. I think she's just kidding, right? No, we got this. That's what she said. <laughs> I I'm sorry! I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But, at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Poor darling. Alright, so we can actually talk to them now. So it looks like we can examine things, but what could you possibly examine in here? Like, is there actually stuff? Like, oh no, when you do, she actually disappears. So you can only just, like, examine the crap in here, right? Nothing, okay. D well, you can examine this camera. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Probably nothing in here. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's much. But we can talk to her, probably about a lot of things. Oh, this is probably where we get, like, our testimony and stuff that we need, huh? Okay. Let's talk about you, darling. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Well, she's like a shrine maiden or something, right? I mean, in Japan, that's still not common, but it's known. Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. She's probably like a, yeah, a shrine maiden or something. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. Well, like a psychic? I guess that's kind of cool. Well, there's a lot of different spirit stuff in Japan, right? Not necessarily psychics. 
They just deal with spirits. I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Don't judge, Phoenix. You don't know. Uh, tell me more about spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte. Uh, a uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? Phoenix! That's rude! We can just ask her who killed her. I don't think it works that way, dude. I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Man, do you know anyone who can? <laughs> Goodness me, okay, this is gonna suck, but we're gonna have to ask about this, I'm sure. Come on, we gotta bring our Judge Judy powers up. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right, she said something about that. What did she say? I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? What? Her own voice? Yes. Oh, she probably saved the conversation on her phone, didn't she? She recorded it. It was recorded at the end by somebody. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Alright, do you have it on you? It, they probably took it off her when she went into prison. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remember that detective took my cell phone. Of course. They're not gonna lie about a phone in jail. Haven't you watched Orange is the New Black? They don't even let you have, like, a toothbrush half the time. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Alright, we got a note. Good. Well, what else, darling? Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? What is it? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? I guess that means she doesn't want us to do it. But that's okay, I understand. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I, of course I'll, I'll do- of course I'll do what you want! Who would refuse? Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. I mean, she doesn't know us, right? So of course we're not gonna, like, be rude to her. She can have whatever she wants. Say, what about your parents? Oh, good job, Phoenix, bringing up everything. Great. Something tells me he has not spoken to many women in the past. Good job, bro, look what you did. I, I, I see, don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. Already? How did they get enough evidence to even start? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until four this afternoon. Shit, we better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Um, wait, did, didn't we talk about this? Is there anything more? Could you tell me about the blah 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 blah? All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence. We heard this. Yep. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. I know. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. Alright, hopefully we'll remember that. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Oh dear. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Alright, let's get out of here. So let's go back... Can we go to that office that we need to by moving? Let's see if we can. 
Um, let's look. Do we need to go here for any- well... What's happening at our office? Are the police still here? September 6th? I'm assuming that other office is the office we actually have to go to, but I want to make sure I get everything. I'm assuming this is the kind of game that just lets you check everything in whatever order you want, maybe. The office is filled with police officers, of course. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! Oh, it's you. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Uh, sorry. Don't... I know you from somewhere? Wait. You're that butts guy, aren't you? What? I am not the butts. No, no. Phoenix Wright. Ew. Ah, uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? No, he was found innocent, actually. What kind of policeman are you? Yeah, really? Uh, right, and you were, uh, Detective Gumshoe, I think. Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> These names are gonna be the best to me, I swear. Right, at your service. Hang on! That's Detective Gumshoe, you pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here! Uh, y yes, sir. Haha. -ha. Be right there. Oh, he's probably one of those low-level cops, isn't he? Oh, dear. Um, <clears throat> you're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Oh, they think- oh, man. We lucked out, didn't we? Good. Alright, well, what can we do? Can we, like, talk to him about everything? Let's just do that. Let's- I mean, I, I don't think time really runs while you're in these places, does it? I think we're okay. I like this music, oh my god. Uh, anything you can tell me about this? About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You wanna know the results, eh? Well, yeah. Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. What? All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Well, that didn't take long. Okay, good. So we got that. We're gonna have to look at all this stuff. What else can I get from you? Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. What? Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Ooh, I know who that is! I mean, I, everyone knows who he is, right? He's the hot one. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Let's find out. Tell me more about him. He's the hot one, right? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal! Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself! Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh... Does it matter? Sure! He's the hot one! I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. And he's hot. Did I mention that already? He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Oh, don't talk about him that way! You make him barely sound human! Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. 20? How do you even have time to pass the bar? Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Oh, I see. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Hmm. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Can we, like, do anything here? Hmm, we talked to him about everything. But, can I give him something? Uh, let's see, what do I even have that I could give him? We have a lot of stuff now. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, you know what we could do? Can we ask him about the cell phone? My conversation I have with my sister is recorded on myself. Can we give him this? While we're here. I mean, that's what it's for, right? I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that? Oh, it's cute. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal! Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh. He's on to me. Uh, Tell him straight, tell him not so straight. Uh, I don't know, I want to be honest, but I don't think he's gonna go for it. Can we just kind of fib it a little? He seems a little bit dense, no offense. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something the matter? Uh oh no, um... That carrying strap on the cell phone. This? It says, uh, the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. 
The Steel Samurai? That action hero on TV? Yeah, you see that strap as a collector's item? She... she was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That what she said? Um, yes. This is dumb. He is not gonna fall for this. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Oh, he gave it? He gave us the whole phone? Okay, this guy is a little bit dense. I, I, I think he's cool already, but like... Yeah, he's a little bit stupid. Wow, we got the cell phone. We're gonna have to look over all this evidence and keep figuring this out. Jeez. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Let's do that in the next one. Sorry to keep leaving it such a weird place, but I think there's gonna be no weird places we couldn't leave it. I'm getting into this though. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of this, but I have a feeling we have a lot more to go. So I hope you guys will join me on the next one. See you later.